Hey YouTube, it's Craig here and I'm back with a new video. In this one, we're gonna talk about my normal swatches and what it's been like having them for one year. So let's check it out. I can't believe I've already owned these watches for a year. My first one was the Nomos Metro and this was my grail watch, absolute grail watch. I never thought I'd get the chance to own one. And now that I own one, I love wearing it so much. It's better than what I thought it was gonna be. It keeps wonderful time. I'm not an expert, you know, I don't have a, a timer to like put it on and figure out exactly how many seconds plus or minus, but I never have to adjust it. It's always on time. It always keeps great time within, you know, maybe a couple seconds a week. And I've had no issues with it at all. The only problem I had was in purchasing it from Exquisite Timepieces. They sent it via FedEx and not their fault. It got stuck in a ice storm or a snowstorm in Memphis for two weeks. So that was the only problem I had with this watch. And in the last year, it's just been, I can't say enough about it. It's absolutely awesome. It's amazing and it's comfortable. It's perfect for my wrist. I have a 166 millimeter wrist or about 6.6 .6 inches. It's like the perfect size, 37 millimeters. Since the bezel is so thin, it just looks a lot bigger on my wrist. Club Campus, I ordered from Torno and it came from Hawaii. And like I said, I don't have it hooked up to a machine or anything like that. I'd say it loses a couple seconds or gains a couple of seconds every two weeks. Like it's just, you just, you set it and it's done. You just have to hand wind it every day. Well, not every day, every 42 hours, it needs a winding, but I wind my watches every morning. And since right now I'm house sitting, I don't have a watch winder. So same with my Tangente, I hand wind it every morning. This has that beautiful 6101, just in six positions, the movement's gorgeous. But actually, this is the uh, watch that had uh, the most issues. So when I first got the watch, it was probably losing four or five seconds a day, sometimes more. I would have to really adjust the watch every like two or three days because it would be off by a couple of minutes. There was a lot of play with the hands. So if I pull out the crown here, there was a lot of play. So like I can twist this a little bit and you can see that it's a little loose, but there was a lot of play with the hands and more so than it, than this now. There were some known issues with this watch, uh, with the movement, and I experienced that on November 6th when I was trying to adjust the watches for daylight savings to fall back an hour. I pulled out the crown and this thing literally shot across the room. The entire stem came out of the, of the watch. <laughs> And I was flipping out, like here's the, this is the most expensive of the three. And here it is, the entire stem came out and I now have this watch that, this was purchased through teddybaldasar.com. And I will never buy from teddybaldasar.com because of the process that went through this repair. It was covered under warranty. Nomos acknowledged it was a known issue with this particular caliber and they had since fixed it. I had to go through teddybaldasar.com's customer service, which was great. I, I met my friend Gabe through them. He now works for Disney with me. So like that friendship is, is awesome. That's probably the best thing to come out of this. But he left uh, Teddy Baldassar, but they work through a jeweler called Borsheims, which is, they've been in business for, I think well over a hundred years. But when you buy a watch through Teddy Baldassar, it goes through Borsheims, like they, they're the ones who actually like allocate it and sell it and handle the customer service. And that experience was not the best. So what happened was I contacted them. They apologized immensely. They said it was gonna be covered, uh, not covered under warranty at first. They said, please send everything we sent you back to us, box, papers, and everything. And I know you're probably thinking like, whoa, 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 Craig, you're not supposed to send the box and the papers back for a repair. I understand that they were under the impression that they were gonna replace it. This model, which is reference 181, which is the Ruthenium, this model had been discontinued. So I sent the watch back with all the box and papers and receipts and everything to Borsheim's. And then they said, oh, you know what? We can't replace it for you. We will just fix it for you. And then your warranty will continue for two years beyond that. 
and they had originally quoted me for six weeks for the repair and it took almost three months for the repair. So I got the watch back. They sent it back in a generic sort of normal cardboard box with, hey, here's your updated warranty. It's now warrantied for two, two additional years, but I didn't get my box, which is a leather case or my, my papers back. And everyone was saying like, whoa, no, 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 you shouldn't have sent that, but they were gonna replace the watch, but there was no watch to replace because this watch has been discontinued. So yeah, it was a lot, it was a big headache. They did finally send back my original box and papers, which is crazy because the papers have my handwriting on it and they had all that stuff, but for whatever reason, they neglected to send it. So I got the watch back and you know what? It runs great. It keeps perfect time, just like the other ones. It keeps pretty much the exact time. If I set all three of these watches and just, if I was to let them sit, you know, just winding them, you know, every day like I do, they would be on time, on par. It's, it's great. It's way better than it was when I first got it. When I first got it, I was like, man, I'm really disappointed. This thing just isn't, it's just not good. It's not keeping time like I had hoped it would for a, a, a $4,100 watch. It's a little big on my wrist because it is uh, 40 millimeters. It's like 40.5 millimeters, something like that. But honestly, it's hard, always hard to tell with the lugs and on camera. The lugs don't extend beyond, uh, beyond my wrist. It's just, it's always kind of how it looks on camera, but I, I love it. It's great. I really like the date ring and how uh, you can also adjust the date in either direction. Let's see that date ring. Today is Friday the 13th. It's super easy to set the date on this thing. But now that, you know, now that it is fixed and I'm back to wearing it, I, you know, I'm happy with it. Because of the headaches of dealing with two different sides of customer service, I, I won't buy from teddybaldasar.com again. It just wasn't a very good experience. The best experience was meeting the customer service guy, Gabe, giving him that watch. And now we're like buddies and I, I got to hang out with him real soon. But yeah, that's my my kind of my experience with Nomos, uh, with the, my Nomos watches. You know, I, I'm still like four years away from needing to have any of the other ones serviced. I told myself if I ever got a Nomos watch, I would I would wear it every single day. And I have three of them and I'm proud that I get to wear a Nomos on my wrist every single day. And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking it out, you guys. If you have any questions about the watches, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content like this. But mostly right now, it's it's pretty much all fountain pens. I've got my Nomos watches and I'm really happy with them. But it's going to be mostly fountain pen related content from here on out. Check out my Instagram, at Greek Arcanova, and we'll see you all in the next video. All right. Peace.